Look at this. They completely took everything. Better take my advice and use it to your advantage, or this will be you. Look at it. Everything gone. This is exactly why a security camera and lights are a good thing to have, and also an aftermarket alarm system, because these guys are knowing ways to disable the factory alarms and get inside your car and start it up. And they know how to finagle the system. So it's very good to have an aftermarket alarm and to have security cameras both on your house and dash cams as well. Because these people are getting it very advanced. This don't make no dang sense. Now look at this. They didn't strip this car down naked. Got it sitting on bricks. The seat's gone. I'm assuming it had, it had Alcantara or either the, the Laguna leather. That's gone. The wheels are gone. It probably had brass monkey wheels. Gone. Surprised they didn't take the Brembo brakes. Took the battery out the back. Spare or blow up kit, whatever they had. Inflation kit gone. Look at this. The whole Hellcat motor is gone. They took it. Gone. Look at this shit. All this can be prevented by putting it up in the garage. It's that simple. But unfortunately, everyone does not have a garage to put them in. So you have to come up with things to make it complicated for these car thieves. Don't make it easy. Get those aftermarket alarms. Invest. Don't be cheap because you want to protect your your things because they are on the hot demand. These things are like hotcakes. So do what it takes to keep your stuff. It sucks you have to do that. But unless you want it to end up on World Star or in someone else's hands, you have to do what you have to do. These thieves are getting keys made. So it doesn't matter if you have your car locked. They have a key made to break into your car. And one thing that you can do to try to prevent it is get an OBD lock. And you can put it over that. But with these thieves, they could probably just rip that lock off because I think it's plastic. So I, I'm, I honestly would go old fashioned. I would uh, put a club on the wheel. <laughs> and, then, and some people might think that's funny putting a, a club on your brand new Hellcat or Scat Pack. But I would seriously do that. I can't say what else I'll do because I don't want nobody to uh, to already know what I'll be doing, but that's I'll leave it at that. That's the most I'll say is put a car club on it. Make it complicated. Don't make it easy. Thieves don't want something where they have to take 15 steps before they can ride off with your car. If you confront these thieves, do not go thinking your voice is going to scare them off. Like you do not know who you're encountering. You don't know what they have on them. You need to treat them as if they're a killer because they most likely are going to have some type of weapon on them. They know what they're getting themselves into, but you don't when you come outside of your house and they're trying to steal it. And there's more than one attacker. So don't assume that you're going to scare them off. Ah, what are you doing? Ah, get out of my car. No. If you got that thing on, you need to come out with the thing and, and handle that business. And hey, if you move, yeah, I ain't gonna tell you what to do, but yeah, you need to be on that type of time. If you're gonna face one of these people instead of calling the police, uh, that's what you need to be on in order to make sure you can go back in the house. Because uh, if you come face to face with one of these thieves and, and they have a burner on them. Ah, they're probably going to fire some shots at you. And if you don't have nothing to return shots, just sit in the house like a good boy or woman and wait for the police to come. Hey, that's it. And I'm out. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll keep bringing this heat. Thank you. Have a good day.